Hi guys, me and Dai Kai's break right here. This is another video and this video I'll be telling you guys what models I am getting for 2021. So let's dive straight to this video right now. Alright, so let's dive straight to the first Let's dive straight to the first model I'm getting for 2021. So let me just start from the, from the Mercedes Tonner here. So for the Mercedes Tonner, why right, there's nothing much that's coming to my collection uh, anytime that soon, other than my GD Spirit Mercedes C63 Black Series. Um, as of right now, I, did, I have no idea where, when is it coming, so do you look out for the space. But if, you, if you're wondering how it looks like, I have a picture and see it should be popping right about here. So yeah, this is why it looks like the Mercedes C63 Black Series from GD Spirit itself. Um, quite a nice looking model to look at, but I, other than that, I don't have much to say other than it's the more hardcore version of the C63, which is this time around given the Black Series uh, package or tune, you can call it. But yeah, that's all I have to say for the Mercedes Corner. Why only the C63 Black Series will be coming to the Mercedes collection in 2021? Moving on down, we have the Ferrari corner right here. So Ferrari corner, as you guys can see, I have all my beautiful Ferraris right here. Uh, the only, there are only two new Ferraris coming to my collection. This, uh, I think it's either two or three, but I need to see how that is for the time being. But at the moment, uh, there's only two Ferrari I can confirm that I'm definitely be getting, which is, sorry, uh, sorry, not two. Uh, at the moment, there's only one Ferrari I can confirm with. It's the BBI Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta. So, yeah, I basically went out and bought a BBI Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta from one of my local Daika uh, sellers. So, maybe he managed to get one for me and it'll be coming to my collection. Also, same thing next year. Maybe somehow, roughly the second quarter of next year. So, yeah, do keep look out for this space. And if you want your color, what color will it be? It'll be finished in red color to match the BBR Ferrari La Ferrari Coupe right over there. Other than that, that's all to say for the Ferrari corner. The two new the two other Ferrari that I you know initially was three but I just realized one of the Ferrari is definitely confirmed coming. So if you're wondering how it looks like for the La Ferrari Porter, here it is. This is what it looks like the Ferrari La Ferrari La, the Ferrari La Ferrari Porter from BBR itself. The two other Ferrari, I can't say what is it at the moment, but I can tell you that one of the Ferraris will be definitely will be this year Ferrari SF9, SF1000, which I am, hopefully if I can get, I want to get the special livery, the dark maroon red that was featured in the Tuscan Grand Prix. Otherwise, I'll just settle for a regular red color Ferrari that was driven by Sebastian Vettel, because as you guys know, last year was uh, Sebast Sebastian Vettel last year in Ferrari, so... Hence, I decide I might want to get that. Other than that, the third Ferrari, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys at the moment because I'm, I haven't put a deposit down for it. Same goes to general that, that uh, SF one thousand. Those two Ferrari are at the moment is pending at the moment, so I have no idea whether is it coming or not coming. So, yeah, just do look keep look out for those. Do keep look out in the future for those two Ferrari that might be coming to my collection. Other than that, that's all we say for Ferrari corner. Moving on, we got the McLaren corner right here. So McLaren, right, there's really nothing much that's coming to my collection for next year. Other than maybe the LCD model 600 LT, the old one McLaren Senna. And if I know if I'm missing out anything, but if I'm missing out anything, I'll just pop it right here. So yeah, other than that, if there's nothing else missing for my collection, for the McLaren side. So if there's nothing else missing, then here is just here's the McLaren, all the McLaren I have. Currently at the moment, and uh, at the moment, I have no plans for any new McLaren coming in for 2021. Other than that, oh yeah, speaking of which, I just remember there's one McLaren coming, which is the 720s from Auto itself, finished in uh, McLaren orange or in this special kind of dark orange or bright orange, I'm not too sure, but it'll be coming to my collection. I just remember, so sorry about that, guys, but it'll be the McLaren 720s coming to my collection for 2021. Other than that, no more other, there's no other McLaren that's coming to my collection for 2021, just the 720s only. Moving down, we got the Porsche Tournament right here, as you guys can see, I, this year, edition is only the 911 Turbo, the 991.2 generation. The, uh, if you saw my last year video, I mentioned that I'm getting the GT3 Touring, which will be coming this year 
2020, Binance is not coming in, unfortunately. I'm so sorry about that, guys. We didn't came, but don't worry. 2021 is the year I promise you guys it will definitely come in. And alongside that, it will be adding to the legendary Porsche corner, which is, if you guys didn't know what the legendary Porsche, one of them is the Carrera GT and the 918. So, yeah, I went out and bought a 959 from Ottawa itself. So, the two new Porsche that come into my collection next year will be the Ottawa Porsche 959 and the Mini Champs GT3 Tori, which I promise you guys, it will certainly come next year. Not unfortunately, not for twenty twenty. So yeah, unfortunately, that's that's the only two Porsche I have come for this for next year. Uh, twenty twenty one, the GT three Touring and the nine five nine. Other than that, that's all to say for the Porsche corner. But yeah, that's all to say for this uh this side. So I forgot to mention now the McLaren side. But here's the picture of the McLaren, San Torino in orange. Moving on, we have the Porsche 959 from Auto itself. And last but not least, the Mini Champ GT3 Touring feature right about here. Other than that, that's all for the Porsche corner. Now let's move on to the Mini corner here, which is the mis miscellaneous section. We got the uh, Auto uh, Dodge Viper GT Dodge Viper, the Ford Shelby GT350R, and the, my Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. So for this corner wise, there's really nothing much coming in for um, next year other than I'm thinking of getting a trunk trailer set which if you guys know this brand called NZG or I think the company name or something if you guys know then you know but yeah mainly I'm thinking of getting a Mercedes a Scania truck and a trailer alongside with it and I'll be putting it right at maybe I'll switch the lumber corner move up move up there and move this one down because it's quite heavy so yeah but other than that i think i'm getting that and the the truck and trailer set together to put these three beautiful cars on top of the trailer to look it to make it look nicer other than that uh what else do i have for this side of the collection oh yeah uh the only kind of um, at the moment i know that's coming to this collection will be the uh auto art liberty what lambini aventador the liberty what uh, Aventador version 2 from uh, Auto Art itself. Uh, let's, let's give me one moment, guys. Let me see what, if I'm missing out anything at all. Oh, yeah. And um, speaking of which, the last red portal which I mentioned just now, which will be placed up there, I don't think it will be placed up there at all. Uh, the special car will be, the last Ferrari will be placed up there. And the last Ferrari portal will be placed down here to match, to tie alongside with the other models. Other than that, that's all I would say for this corner. At the moment, considering should I get an auto or DBS Superledger if they were to make it available next year. But if no, if don't, then I don't think I'll get it at all. But yeah, that's all I would say for this corner. Now let's move on to the last con bottom corner, which is the Lamborghini corner right here. So for the Lamborghini corner, what do I have to say? Um, there's really not much to come in, that's coming in for next year other than my I'm buying another Gardo race car because I sold my yellow gado race car as i feel it doesn't really suit the huracan race car that well uh other than that i'm still getting one more truck to add to my collection so it'll be one truck and one gado race car coming to my collection next year for the lumber small lumber corner right here other than that um other than that i'm thinking of getting another machado which is the lp670-4 the sv version to be placed on top of the red, the first gen mercy so then I'm still considering whether should I or should I not get it. But if not, if I don't get it, then uh, then I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, not not getting it. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say for this part of the collection wise. As you guys can see, it's a very very nice collection. Uh, collection I have. Uh, looking back last year and the year before, uh, the year before, I really didn't expect my collection to go that grow that fast. Um. Yeah, that's all we say for Lumbo Corner wise. Really nothing much other than a new trunk and a, a new Dado race are coming to my collection. Now let's move on to the Lamborghini Corner which I will show you, tell you guys what is coming in for next year. Alright, now let's let me talk about the Lamborghini Corner right here. This holy trinity whole tower of Lambos. Well, uh, let me just start from the top. From the top, there's nothing much to add on other than we got the, guard, the Huracans right here. Right down below the second gen Gardo. So for this, if you guys seeing this empty space right here, um, 
I'm considering should I get a first gen, you know, not first gen, second gen uh, LP series Gardo to add to my collection to, to alongside the Balboni and the Super Ledger, or should I get a Super Trifle Stradale and add it alongside? But uh, time will tell whether what I'll go for. So I go uh, whether I'll go for the regular Gardo or the Super Trifle Stradale. So do keep look out for this space as well. Uh, moving on down, nothing much top other than you got your first gen Gardo, the pre non the non LP series Gardo right here. You now right here we got the Aventador corners which spans from this uh this level all the way down to the Aventador where the Sian is just right above the Sian. Uh, for this series, I really know much to say other than I I hope Otoa really next year announce. I hope Otoa next year announce the SVJ Cook and SVJ Roadster. If they were to announce the SVJ Cook and not announce the SVJ Roadster, I don't mind because I just need an SVJ to add to my collection to add alongside this SVJ 63 edition from Kyosho itself. So an SVJ Cook would be nice. So Otoa please do release it next year. So yeah. So this is what I'll be uh, getting for next year. Hopefully if Otoa would announce it. An SVJ Cook to my collection. Moving down, we got this empty space right here. So the empty space right here you're seeing will be my Aventador S that will be coming to my collection and also alongside it, my first Aventador which is the all matte black, all, all block black Aventador SV to my collection. So if you guys didn't know, I saw my Aventador SV uh, this year in 2020. By the time you're watching, it will be 2021. So if, it, if I do mess up, if I do change saying it's 2020, uh, I do apologize for it, but yeah. Um, uh, getting back my, it'll be, so many here will be an S, Avento S and Avento S V right here in yellow and black. So, yeah, that's quite a nice collection. Moving now, we got the Avento Fitter Vasario and Avento J. So nothing much to talk about these two. And right down below it, we got the Avento LP700-4. Avento Roaster and my DMC Avento. So nothing much to talk about these five Avento right here. Now let's move on to this empty space right here you're seeing. Oh shit. So yeah, let me this empty space right here seeing will be my Liberty Walk uh corner. So many if as you guys know they're announcing the Liberty Walk Aventador version 2 next year. So I'm thinking of getting two of that. One will be placed right here, another will be placed right here. And right 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 beside it will be this, the first gen first generation uh Aventador, Liberty Walk Aventador, which will be placed right above it. Right here, which is, will be a very nice touch to it. Um, other than that, that's all to say for this part. Other than my, I'll be getting a first, a uh, second gen, uh, Liberty Walk Aventador, which will be two of it, and to match alongside the version one, Aventador, Liberty Walk Aventador. Moving down, we got this, the, uh, sorry, we got the Sesto Elemento, the Cyan, the two Centenario, and the two Vento and last but not least, two, two Veneno. For the Sian, I am I have already placed an order for the MR version of the Lamborghini Sian Roadster, which will be coming in next year, hopefully. Uh, other than that, really not much talk about that. Um, yeah, that's all to say for this corner wise for the Lamborghini corner right here. It is a very very nice piece in my collection. Other than that, let me just move on to the wardrobe area, which will be right behind there. So just give me one moment, guys. Alright, so here is my wardrobe section right here. So yeah, nothing much talk about these two floors as if you watch my end of 2020 series, you know that for these two level it's completed already, so I'm not going to touch it at all. Unless I'm just something else. For this corner where he's special, because uh, as you guys can see, I have the uh, G-Spirit LD app RS4 R right here. So next year, I am think I'm definitely getting will be, will be three cars. One of them will be the Otto at Lamborghini Urus. Second car will be the uh, GD Spirit Audi RS6. The new face, new version of the RS6. And last but not least will be the C63 Black Series from GD Spirit itself. Which I mentioned just now at the Mercedes corner right over there. Other than that, yeah, those are the three cars that's coming to my collection. If you're wondering uh, how it looks like, uh, I'll have a picture of it of those two cars right about here. So yeah, those are the picture of the two cars. That's, uh, other than that, that's all I say for the wardrobe area. Now let's move on to the miscellaneous area right here and right up there. So yeah, what I say for this corner right here. So nothing much to talk about it other than my holy trinity right here, which is a very nice, uh, 
collection uh, addition to my collection so yeah uh so basically if, if you guys saw just now i mentioned about the Terra gt and the 959 so mainly the 959 will be placed here as well as the Terra gt will be placed right here and right beside it i'll be removing this don't worry but right here it, just imagine this guys imagine uh because i'm definitely getting will be a 112 year Bugatti Chiron from Otto itself. So it will be placed right here, which is a very nice touch to my collection. And yeah, that's all I say for this corner. You got a 112 Chiron coming in next year. So do keep look out for that. Moving on, we got the initial model R34 and my uh, Otto Pagani is on the R. So yeah, nothing much talk about this two. Uh, Cause there's really nothing much talk about it other than I'm thinking I'm getting shy. Get a even more, because if you guys didn't know, there's two versions of the John R, which is one of them is just the regular John R, and now it's the John uh Revolution, the more hardcore version of the John R, because, yeah, it's more hardcore, so I think they tune it some, they did some minor upgrade to it. Um, whether or not, I'm still considering should I get it or not, but other than that, that's all I say for these two parts and this part right here. So let me just summarize what I have to say for my collection for. What I'm get what I am getting for 2021. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so yeah, that's quite odd. Uh if you guys counted how many cars that are coming to my collection for next year wise, it's quite a lot. So yeah, do keep look out for those for that in the near future. But to summarize everything I have for this year, let me just tell you guys some of the cars that I'm getting for next year. One of them will be the GT3 Toy for Mini Champ itself, which I mentioned in last year uh uh last year video which is the cars I'm getting for this year, why? Right? Unfortunately, it didn't pay me for this year. It'll be coming next year, I promise. I promise you guys that it'll be definitely be coming. So, do keep look out for that. And now will be the 959. Uh, Auto Porsche 959. Really a nice car to add to my collection. Because it's like one of the legendary Porsches. Uh, Porsches had created back then in the 1980s. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the BBR LaFerrari Aperta. Coming to, that will be coming to my collection next year to some, finish up the three. La Ferrari series, if you can call it the La Ferrari Coupe, La Ferrari Porter, and the FSXK Evo. So yeah, sorry about that. So mainly, uh, I, I this year I bought my first two Rizzi models, which from BBR itself. So next year, I, I think I'll have. So far next year, I'm only getting one new Rizzi, which is the Emma Lamborghini Roadster from Emma Models itself. Uh, what else do I have? The GT Spirit Audi RS6 from. The GT3 Audi RS6, the Lamborghini Urus, and yeah, that's really there's quite a lot of model cars coming to my collection next year. So yeah, do keep look out for that as well. Um, yeah, that so maybe yeah, do keep look out for that because I think if I'm not if I am correct, I think there's roughly twenty to thirty cars, twenty to ten no no ten to twenty cars as of right now coming to my collection because. Yeah, I really want to clear everything I have from that I placed another for this year for 2020 and clear it in 2021. So yeah. Uh because hopefully by then maybe 2022 the pandemic is over and I could travel and go to Japan and I can film a video for you guys. But if I'm wrong then yeah. Uh then I'm wrong. So I can I can just reflect on this video to say I'm wrong. Uh yeah, my plan for twenty twenty two. I'm very very certain what I'm do for twenty twenty two, which is to buy the model cars that I want to get. But for twenty twenty one, just to clear everything I have at, at the moment and not buy unnecessary things. Yeah. So yeah, that's all I say for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break, and my Twitter should pop right about here. And if you want to see more models from my collection, you can follow me on DB Collection on Instagram and it's popping right about here. And last but not least, click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click the subscribe and click to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll wish you guys a happy new year. Peace. Oh.